Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy SBS coming to you once again with another video. And this time, I want to talk about this bullshit ass show called Face the Truth. Now, to be honest, the name itself is very biased. By all means, I have done a video about this uh, guy who was on the show a few months back about him having some issues with his mom and he has problems focusing in life and he needed help and you know his his life is a mess and he needed some help and the women were bashing him about him complaining about things too much and blaming people for it and really the problem was his mom convinced him to be an alcoholic but yet they don't put no shame on with the mom whatsoever so to me i was watching an episode of face the bullshit i'm not going to say it's the truth because all honesty they can't even handle the truth so there was an episode where the mom had put her son in jail when he was 14 over some stupid shit and ever since then his mind ain't right but yet his mom hated the fact that he's actually making money on performing on rap shows and rap concerts and stuff like that mind you he's a mumble rapper and you know I don't feel like getting into details with his music but however they are bashing him for trying to find something in his life or better yet his way of having fun is to be a mumble rapper now again this is not my couple my cup of tea and at the same time as much as i hate mumble rappers i would have to say that these women were once again very judgmental about the the fact that he's making a career out of being a rapper you know and that's something that this is what's going on in the 21st century you know and mind you this is a new day and age that you know rap music is making money rather if it's good or bad you know so pretty much i feel like the problem with this show is is that they're so fixated to bash men, even if they have any type of problems or not, you know? And not once have they even, except this other crazy bitch who was coked out on drugs, but they never once looked at the woman's point of view, her fucking issues are, you know? And to be honest, I, I feel like this show really sucks. It's because you have five of these women, including Vivica A. Fox, just standing there, sitting there, talking shit out of their fucking asses. And I said this before and I'll say it again. Vivica A. Fox has no business being on this show. And look at the ratings. Like, I actually took a snapshot on my phone and looked on some reviews and information about this show and look at this it only have a 3.6 the ratings are so fucking low i don't even know what's terrible this show or the wwe you know in fact this show sucks so hard i get a blowjob from it you know and all these five bitches is good at sucking Including Vivica A. Fox, who, like I said, she put herself into this show. And even though she tried to be the good person on the show, the rest of these hoes are just judgmental, closed minded, and just very, very, very rude and disrespectful. And I, I, I really hate this show. I, I really do, because they don't listen to the man's problem. And all they want to do is criticize and just be judgmental and say things out of their ass. Like that Judge Mary Paula Dean looking ass bitch, for example. 
she has the biggest mouth ever, you know, like, her mouth looked like it belongs to Judge Judy, but her appearance looked like Paula Dean. you know, and like I said, you have the, you got the Paula Dean looking chick, you got that uh, Chinese looking chick, the Spanish girl who thinks she's all that, and some other black girl on the show, you know, I, I really feel like what is the purpose of them on this show, because first of all, they have no fucking experience running a fucking TV show. Two, they have no PhD of being a psychologist or a therapist at all. So who the fuck do they think they are wanting to think that they can be something special on TV? They ain't, they ain't solving no fucking problems. And that Judge Mary, she don't even seem like a real judge at all. You know... This is not a court show. And no, none of these people are convicted of a crime or suing each other for nothing. You know, and to be honest, this show kind of remind me of how, you know, talk shows for women are these days. You know, because most women on talk shows like Wendy Williams, The View, The Real, The Talk, The This, The That, I feel like every time I watch these shows women make an ass out of themselves talking stupid shit and it's, it's, I, I, I think talk shows for women are only for women who are very misogynist towards men that's what it is you know and you think misogyny is just something for men ha <laughs> Nah, I think a woman can be a misogynist too. That's why when you watch these talk shows, they quickly bash men about what they look like, how they are, what they can do or can't do. If if he had this and that, I don't want nothing to do with him. And if and if he did something bad to you, you kick him in the balls or you hurt his feelings. You know, this is the shit that I hate with talk shows, you know? And, and this one ain't, ain't no better, you know? And and all they do is, like I said, they criticize the men. They don't listen to the men. They can't shut the fuck up for a minute and let the man talk, you know? And I see Tony, I mean, Tommy Sotomayor on his show. And this black woman is offended about how Tommy have always liked to bash black women now to be honest i've seen tommy's videos over the years and even with him his his videos are very biased as hell too but i do understand his point of view of why how he feels about black women you know i'm not gonna sit there and say that i hate black women no i just hate the shit they they do plain and simple in fact, I just hate any basic bitch at all. You know, I don't like basic bitches at all, you know. I mean, I just think that this show is terrible, you know. And if a woman committed a crime, let's say if it was a baby and a baby almost died and you left the baby alone by itself, I bet you they're not going to blame the woman. And they probably blame the baby for not coming home. <laughs> or some shit like that. Like the baby is lost somewhere. And the mama lost it. Then it's the baby's fault. I bet they're going to say some shit like that. Or better yet. They might blame the teenager for waiting the bed. Even though the mother never encouraged him to use the bathroom. Or teach him how to use the potty or whatever. I mean. I, I think that the problem is. Is that the women don't want to blame each other. Because. They want to make this show feel like it's supposed to be unity for women. And that's what it is. It's, 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 a, it's a pack full of fucking judgmental hags, you know? And, you know, it's like a birth of a feather flock together. That's what they're about, you know? They're not going to always take the, the man's side because they know damn well that's not what their intentions on doing, you know? 
So to be honest, this show sucks because you know the the ratings suck. Vivica A. Fox has nothing better to do. She's not on some any movies or anything in particular. I've never even heard of anything going on in the movie theaters with her. But of course she needs the money, and of course she needs to have her finance going on. So that's why she's on the fucking show. So mind you. When I watch these episodes of Face the Truth, I wish that this shit was off the air by now. This show is nothing but pure garbage. I would not recommend anybody watching this show at all. You know, because to be honest, I feel like this show is going to be off the air soon. So anyways, though, folks, I'm done here. Please leave your comments on the comment section below what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.